Wow. I wonder if he'll object to me taking a piece of this tree, Sap. Or is he going to become over overprotective? We got hot springs here as well. Geezers. I don't know where to look. I don't know where to put my eyes. There's just so much to see. So much to marvel at. Oh look, somebody else. Let's go speak with the other guy first. Hey there. Welcome to Elder Glean Sanctuary, my friend. If you have any questions, speak to Asta. Asta? I suppose that's this lady over here. Oh, look at this. Where's she gone? Oh, there she is. Hello there. Amazing that such beauty could exist in a place as desolate as the volcanic tundra. The volcanic tundra. Oh, yes. What exactly is this? You are an Elder Glean Sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinneret has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? Yes, it is indeed. And this, this big tree up here? Is that the Elder Gleam? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Why? As you can see, Elder Gleam's roots are large and stretch far blocking any path to her trunk. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Elder Gleam herself would lift her roots for, more out of fear than respect. Ah. Do you mean this by any chance? The rumors are true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. Oh, don't worry, I'm not harming the tree. I'm just taking a little tiny bit of sap. Harm the tree. Have you heard this mad woman? Come, let's get a piece of the sap. <laughs> I don't think anything good is going to come of this. Elwyn innocently walking to the tree, thinking he's going to take some sap, but no doubt it's probably going to kill the damn thing. <laughs> Only some, some, some kind of fury, and that'll be the end of the matter. Right. Well, we're blocked off by roots. Let's see if we uh, can wield this metal base. Wow. You see that? Open up for me, Mr. Tree. I'm coming for a little tiny piece of your sap. Then I will be leaving you to carry on with your business. No need to be afraid. Oh, look at this. I've got a feeling. This is going to lead to something rather beautiful. Some kind of overlook or something? Hmm. How bizarre. Don't think we'll go much further. <laughs> Dwarven boots. What very strange designs. Somehow I don't think they go with my robes. I'll let them be for now. <coughs> right, here we are. <coughs> Let's hope that we don't uh, cause too much of a disturbance here. Mm, picking a few of the herbs around the tree as well as the 
disturbing the tree itself and disturbing its surrounding uh, plant life as well. Right, oh, okay, let's just tap into the, uh, the tree. There we go. Oh! Oh my goodness! What have I done? I knew this was going to happen somehow. I knew I was going to disturb something. I could just feel it in my water. Protectors of the tree. Rise up. You're looking a bit punch drunk. You all right? Let's get the hell out of here. Come on. I think we've disturbed something. Oh boy! Oh. Ah. What the hell are these things? Are they tree monsters? God knows where the other one fell. God. The two people that were sat here and enjoying this place have been killed by the tree monsters. This is all my fault. You evil idiots. Oh. Oh, I'm seeing them. It's funny. Get us out of here! Oh, okay, I'm doing what? Carrying too much to run, apparently. Let's drop some crap that we don't need. There must be something in here that's weighing us down, eh? Carus Chitin. Dreamer Cogs. I thought I would need these for something in the in the in the ruins, but I don't think I do, so I can drop those. Troll skull. Don't know where I got that from. Small dream of plate metal. Oops. Oh, I uh, I do apologise if I've uh, brought death and destruction here. I did not mean to. I just was taking a little bit of sap. That's all I was trying to do. Sullied this place with my presence, haven't I? Beautiful sanctuary. Two people sat there enjoying it. Now I've just gate crashed and. Let's get the hell out of here. I hope they're bloody happy in White Run after this. I'm telling you, innocent people have died to reach all their flaming tree. Five o'clock. <coughs> I think we probably will have enough time to get back to White Run if we hurry. I would like to have spent a little bit more time inside there, probably, in the sanctuary. 
Maybe even stayed over the night. In the beauty. But uh, that chance of that happening now. Look at this place. It is rather amazing. Oh! Hot springs. Oh, look at the campsite. Who on earth is camping out in the middle of all this? <laughs> oh, I've got to admit, it would be a rather nice place surrounded by hot springs, you know. It's not exactly the worst place to be. Our friend's coming back. Uh, this is probably the same dragon that's followed us all the way from Blooming White Run. Uh, when we were on the in the entrance to the Shimmer Mist Cave, it popped up, and ever since then, it's bloody hounding me. Is there, any, is there a way across without getting wet? I don't think there is. There is a bridge down there. A little bit far to go, to be honest with you. Oh, look, some people over there as well. <sighs> this won't be as warm as the hot springs, Brilina. Brace yourself. Oh, <laughs> nope. Not a chance. Nowhere near. Right, let's get ourselves back to Whiterun. Hello? Hello there, travelers. How's it going? If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Oh, yes, I remember that chap. I was in a carriage with him. Going to my death. <laughs> That's a long story. Just I'll save for another day, because we really must get moving. It's sunset is upon us. And we need to get back to Whiterun to give Danica this sap. And we need to just uh, prepare ourselves. A few last bits and bats. And out. Out and away. Back to the college. Where I can hopefully forget about the horrors of what's happened today. You know, I've never thought twice, Brilina, about uh, about killing bandits. Bandits that dare to attack me first. I'm if I if I head into a head into a cave or into a into a fort and they, I get ambushed by these so-called bandits, I have not a trouble in blasting them down to their deaths. But when innocent people, when innocent people going about their normal business, enjoying the natural beauties of a of a sanctuary die because of something I've done be it indirectly it is an absolutely awful feeling yeah whilst I talk to myself you just manage you just stand down there and not even listen to me hello there a important deliveries to make no time for chatting what are you delivering Important deliveries to make. No time for okay, chatting. Okay, I did it down first time. Fine, we'll go about your damn bit deliveries then. I got delivery to, to, to make as well. You don't hear me happy on about it. <sighs> path I have walked many times now. This path here. In fact, this is where I met a blithering... Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, very strange. Yes, yeah, this is where I met the blithering uh, Kajit who was talking in some kind of riddles. And an old orc who wanted to die for some strange reason. Never understood his reasoning.
once we get back to White Run, it's going to be a case of, uh, depending on what time it is, I'm hoping that the uh, Danica will still be up. Although, if the tree does get restored to life, I would prefer to see it in the in the in the daylight. So maybe I might go to uh, straight to bed on, upon my return and finish off my last few chores in the morning, which will include visiting Danica and also uh, selling any. How's that? That's a, is it a bit of wall? Oh, it's a tree. Uh, selling all this junk that I've picked up from the the shimmering shimmer mist cave. And then uh, head to the college. I wonder what the hell's happened to me. The old college, eh? I, I said I just stepped out, stepped out to go to White Run, and I haven't been back for several days. I think I've been probably chopped up and murdered somewhere. <laughs> I can just picture the archmage now cursing under his breath. Two of my students gone missing. What the hell has happened here? This was a second of two. Th I mean, this is this was a second of, of two of the major things that we were heading to White Run to do. To be honest, I mean, obviously we did the bandit mission, just to slay the bandits at the Silent Moons, which was outstanding, outstanding quest. That's, that wasn't obviously a, a priority of any sort, but seeing as we had it available, we might as well finish it off. But the two main reasons for coming back were to report to Yalbal Groove about Lydia, which we obviously did and to restore the tree. And the main reason Elwyn is restoring the tree, as he's already stated, is because he's doing it not for himself, but on behalf of the college. An attempt to uh, raise their standing you know, as an active college member. Hopefully his good deeds, specifically something as monumental as this, will help to spread the good word about the college, about college members in general. They are willing to go the extra mile to assist wherever possible. And hopefully re uh, alleviate some of that some of that fear that several Nords still hold about about uh, mages in general. A beacon of faith is our Elwyn. Uh, although he is doing all these good deeds, he feels a little bit uh, empty. Uh, the reason why is because for the past few days, whilst he's been here, I mean, it's obviously poor. It's obviously poor preparation on his part, to be honest with you. He, he obviously was a little bit traumatized by Lydia's death, and wasn't thinking straight at the time when he left. But uh, he did not take any books with him from his collection, so that he could read them in between, you know, in between quests and. He had a bit of downtime, and he's been without a new book for quite some time. So he's uh, he's itching to get his clutches onto onto uh, a couple of his books when he gets back, so that he can, just so they can read again. He's you know the cake and the diamond and other such other other books. I'm I'm sure I can't kind of remember off the top of my head, but there's other books that that we've collected recently that we really uh, would probably enjoy reading that's, uh, in the not too distant future, so that's probably one of the things he's looking forward to most about returning. Wait, I know you. Yes, you should know me. I'm the Thane. Not that I spread it, spread that about uh, like a, you know, as a, as a as a permission to do as I wish, as a position to abuse. No, I but I am the Thane. <laughs> Hello there. Why are you on top of a rock? Hello. Are you looking for something? Good to have you by my side, friend. I need reliable people around. Okay. Well, enjoy your, uh... Wh whatever it is you're doing. Maybe you're keeping lookout for dragons or something. That's a good, 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 uh... employ of your time, I, I admit. Night Watchman. Farmer by day, <laughs> Night Watchman by night. <laughs> As the title suggests. Ah... Thank the Lord we're finally back. 
Finally back to civilization. Although it is good to be out in the wilds away from the hustle and bustle of city life, sometimes uh, the creature comforts of a warm bed, a glass of wine by the fire, read of a good book while sat on a sat on a seat rather than sat in the middle of some brambles, for instance, is uh, is most welcome on occasion. Evening. Evening, sir. I think that we have something to do, Berlina. You see, I remember saying, did I not, that when Wait, we were in... I know you. Yes, I'm the Thane. I'm a thing. You know me. I know. Um, sorry about that. Uh, yes, I did say that when we were in Valfium Keep, I did say that on our final night, to celebrate, we would go to the inn, eat until our hearts content, till our bellies could take no more of the lovely food that is cooked there. We would drink until we could no longer stand, and we would just literally enjoy ourselves on this last night. Listen to the lovely music of the bard and just just enjoy ourselves. We've had a lot of hardships over the past few days and almost like a, a, a goodbye celebration really. I mean of course we will, we will be back in Whiterun for other odds and ends in the future but this probably marks the end of, of a, a more permanent stay here so let's get inside, have a drink, have some food listen to some music, chat with the locals, share our stories that we've no doubt got to tell over the past few days. We'll have them sat... Oh look! Full house! Full house! Berlina? Still here. Alright, what is it? Let's have a look. Where shall we sit ourselves? Sit there. Can't do that. Sorry. Oh, is it too full? Alright then. Okay, got sit it. over there. You sit over there, Berlina! I'll get the drinks and the food in, and then whilst we have a captive audience, I think we could uh, have them eaten out the palm of our hands as we tell our story of the our adventure through the Shimmer Mist Cave, and also about the Elder, Elder thingamabobs. <laughs> <laughs> 